In this presentation, we're going to go over the solution to the using the VLOOKUP function exercise. The first thing I'm going to do is click in cell B7 here. I'm going to select the Formulas tab, Insert Function. I'm going to search for VLOOKUP. I'm going to select it and click OK. My lookup value is going to be the item number, so I'm going to type A7. I'm going to click to the Table Array line here. I'm going to select the Table tab, and I'm going to click and drag to select a range from cells A2 through C9. In the column index number here, I'm going to type 2. We're going to reference column 2, and I need to find an exact match. So for range lookup, I'm going to type false and click OK. Because there is no item number, it is showing me an error. I'm going to click and drag using the fill handle to propagate this function down the sheet. To determine the price, I'm going to click in cell D7. I'm going to click insert function, select VLOOKUP again. Lookup value is going to be the item number. Again, so I'm going to type A7 here. Table array, I'm again going to select the tables tab and click the range of cells from A2 through C9. For the column reference, it's going to be column 3. And I needed an exact match, so I'm going to type false here and click OK. Again, I'm going to use the fill handle to propagate this function all the way down. We now need to make some of these references absolute. So I'm going to select cell B7, and I'm going to alter the formula here. To make these absolute in the formula bar, I'm going to type in here and add a dollar sign before A, before 2, before C, and before 9. I'm going to do the same in D7. I'm going to propagate my formula by using the fill handle and dragging down all the way. And I'm going to do the same for the function I edited in D7, drag it all the way down. So here for this item number, we're going to enter 135798. And you'll see it's filled in the rake description with a price of 1298. And we're going to fill in one more item number, 678452. And you'll see this is a wrench for $6.99. Coming up next, you'll go over how to use the HLOOKUP function in Excel 2016.